another GCSE Economics video with me, Mr. Goff, for MrGoff.com. Today's video will focus on costs, revenue, profit and loss. Total costs can be split into fixed costs and variable costs. Fixed costs are those costs that occur regardless of the level of production. Variable costs are those costs that increase or decrease depending on the level of production. If we consider something like a pizza store, they would always have to pay their rent or mortgage, so this is a fixed cost. On the other hand, the amount of ingredients they have to pay for would depend on how many pizzas they're selling, and this would be a variable cost. Average costs, or the cost per item produced, is the total cost divided by the quantity that's being produced. Average costs are a measure of efficiency. If average costs are going down, then a firm is becoming more efficient. If they're rising, then a firm is becoming less efficient. In the long term, it's essential that costs are lower than revenue in order for a firm to continue to survive. Keeping costs low also means that firms are able to compete on price and possibly attract a greater market share. And finally, lower costs means more revenue is retained as profits. Total revenue is the amount of money a firm makes from selling its goods and services. It can be found by using the formula quantity sold times price. Average revenue is the total revenue divided by quantity sold. Therefore, the average revenue is the same as the price. A steady stream of revenue is important to firms because if you don't earn more revenue than you have costs in the long term, then you won't be able to survive. Investors are more likely to put more money into the firm, allowing it to grow, if it already has a strong revenue stream. Strong revenue also promotes confidence in a firm. This might mean they're able to get goods on credit from their suppliers, and it might mean that workers will feel confident that the firm's going to continue and not start looking around for jobs in other companies. When you subtract total costs from total revenue, you will either have a profit or a loss. If the result is positive, you have a profit. If it is negative, you have a loss. Profits are a source of finance that firms can use to grow the business. They also help to attract additional investors and promote confidence among people like lenders, giving the business more ways that it can grow. High profits in certain industries signal where other producers might also be able to make a profit. This is good for the economy in general, as it helps to shift resources from non-profitable industries to emerging more profitable industries. While losses may be anticipated at the beginning of a business's life cycle, they're not sustainable in the long term, and if a business has losses for too long, then they will go out of business. That brings us to the end of this video on costs, revenue, profit and loss. Join me again for the next video in the series, where we'll be looking at economies of scale. Try the resources at mrgoff.com to help you revise economics, and until next time, it's bye for now.